And the thing is, I was actually before from yesterday. I've always watched cooking shows. I come from a cooking family. My first job was in a restaurant as a kid. My aunt was actually, she used to run the Cape Cod Playhouse um, dinner portion of it. And JFK wanted her to cook at his inauguration, but she was a little bit uh, intimidated by him and didn't do it, so. Oh yeah, that is just perfect. So for those folks in Nashua, but what are the awards that you represent now? Yeah, one, two, and five. I did represent uh, nine, but I'll be giving that up. And then I'm going to be adding New Ipswich, Ridge, and Greenville. So just straight west. And I was told I now have, of all the state senators, the longest border with Massachusetts of any state senator. You know, it's chicken, and she's got, we've, we've got a lot of greens. And, uh, and then we, the peas actually came from our garden. Yeah, pretty good. Absolutely. This is this is it. Absolutely. Like if I have them on a show, either my old radio show or the TV show we have now, it's, it's a lot more, you know, uniform. Where this is more laid back, and I think you just get a more people answer. If you will. These are from Clem's Bakery. They actually have butter in the middle, so when you heat them up, the butter's already there. Isn't that great? That's a great, right? I'm gonna tell everyone. Look up this recipe. We'll call it again spring. Summer, um, raspberry, wine, vinegar, and chicken salad. We're always talking about politics. So I said, why not have local politicians come in and get a different side of them while we talk politics and do some cooking? And, uh, it's been a hit, I mean, when it's the, you see them in a different light, like people couldn't believe the mayor was here, you know, cutting onions in her hand. And Someone cut those peas really nice. Oh, they did. Back, I actually had my Absolutely. first Democrat on last week, Peggy Gilmore, his opponent. Wow. I had to have a food taste tester though to make sure she didn't poison oh. me. Just kidding.